I posted a video about kids learning animation a few months ago, and it gained a lot of attention. To this day, many people have subscribed to my channel because of that video. It's clear that there's a lot of interest in children's content. However, the comment section of that video is also full of doubts. Some people think that kids' channels can't be monetized. Some believe they earn very little money, and some even think I'm just wasting their time. I want to say that all these concerns are reasonable, but in reality, many factors determine whether your channel can be monetized or make big money. Even under COPPA regulations, many kids' channels have risen to prominence in recent years, especially with the rapid development of AI technology. I believe no one can tell you for sure that your channel will be monetized or make big money. If someone does, they probably have an ulterior motive. But there is one thing you can always trust, taking action. Only by starting can you possibly find the answers and the truth. So, I hope you have the courage to try and take action immediately, because hesitation and waiting are the real waste of time. In today's video, I'm going to give you another kid's niche inspiration, kids' storybooks. You can find similar channels on YouTube, and their video traffic and income are pretty impressive. Plus, you can create the same story in different languages and post them on different channels to double your income like this channel. Even if your channel can't be monetized, you can still profit by selling ebooks on Amazon. It might even make more money than through ad revenue. With the help of AI tools, creating a digital storybook like this takes just a few minutes, making it perfect for beginners. I'll walk you through the simplest method in a few steps. The best part is, it's 100 100% free. Step one, we need a story. Let's go to ChatGPT and tell it, please write me a storybook for children under five to help them know something about the dinosaurs. The wording should be easy to understand and suitable for kids, less than 100 words. Use a detailed prompt to avoid duplication and potential monetization problems. The more specific your prompt, the more unique your story will be. ChatGPT quickly responded with a story, and I think this is exactly what I want. Now, let's move on to step two creating the storybook. For this step, we'll use Canva, and you don't need to upgrade to the pro plan. Open Canva, click Create a Design, and search for Storybook. On the design page, you'll see many beautiful templates, but we can't use them unless you want to receive copyright warnings. According to Canva's policy, you can only sell original designs. This means if you want to create a product to sell, it needs to be an original design. You can't sell any Canva content on a standalone basis. I'll provide the link to this web page in the comments so you can learn more about Canva's copyright policies. So, how do we create our own design? Don't worry, with the help of AI, this will become extremely simple. Click Magic Media here, and you can use AI to generate images, graphics, and even videos. Canva currently does not have specific rules on the ownership of AI-generated works, and we can see that the treatment of AI-generated works under copyright law is an open question. This means using any AI-generated works in your video currently does not pose a copyright risk, unless the AI tool you are using specifically states it cannot be used commercially or your country has relevant regulations. Okay, let's get back to business. Let me show you the next steps. Select Images. Choose your desired style. Then select the aspect ratio. First, we need a cover image. Since our story is about dinosaurs, I'll input a simple prompt. Click Generate Image. Wait a moment. Select the one you like the most, drag it to the page, right click, and select Set Image as Background. Then click Text. Choose a template you like, paste the title, adjust the color and position, and add some effects. Let's move on. Next, I'll paste the first sentence of the script, written by ChatGPT, to generate the next image. Then click the Elements menu, search for Blob, click this arrow, choose a shape you like, drag it to the page, adjust the color, then click Text, add a little bit of body text, paste the script here, adjust the text box size and position, then choose a cute font. This page is done. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, follow the same method to complete the remaining pages. Here, I'll speed up the video. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe, then you can easily follow along next time.
After finishing the last page, click Share, click More, select Simple Booklet Flip, click Save, click View in Simple Booklet Flip, and click Convert. That's it. After this step, you can download the PDF version and sell your ebook on Amazon. But wait, if you want to turn it into a video to post on YouTube, please stick around. Step three, we need to add voiceovers to our storybook. We'll use Eleven Labs, which I consider the best text-to-speech tool available. It offers a free quota of 10,000 characters per month, which is more than enough for a short children's story. Click Get Started Free to log into your account. Click on Voice, then Library, and search for Childish. Choose a voice you like, click Add to Voice Lab, and then Add Voice. Now, go to My Voices, and you will see the voice you just added. Click Use, and paste your script here. I recommend not generating all the voiceovers at once. Instead, do it sentence by sentence in the order of your script, and number each one. This will make editing easier later on. Click Generate Speech, and then download each clip by clicking here. Final step, editing. We're sticking with CapCut, which is super newbie friendly. First, import all the images and voiceovers we prepared. Drag each voiceover onto the timeline in order, with pauses between to slow things down for kids to follow. Next, drag the images onto the timeline to match the voiceover. Now, let's animate using keyframes. Start by placing the axis on the first frame of each image. Click the image, zoom it to fill the screen, maintaining that 16 to 9 ratio. Drag the image down, click Add Keyframe, then move the axis to where the image ends, drag the image up, add another keyframe. Repeat for the remaining image. That's it. Next, click Transitions, slide, and pick the page turning transition. Drop it between each pair of images. Now, click Audio, Transitions, add a fitting sound effect at the start, and click Animals for a dinosaur sound here. Now, ready to export. Easy, right? Let's check out the finished product. Feel free to leave your comments below. See you next time. Yay, no friends! A trip to the past! Once upon a time, in a land of long ago, lived dinosaurs big and small. Meet Trixie the Triceratops. She had three big horns and loved to eat plants. Rex the T-Rex was strong and mighty. He had sharp teeth, and liked to roar. And there was Daisy, the Diplodocus. She had a very long neck to reach the highest leaves. Together, they played and roamed the land, happy and free. Though they are gone now, we remember them through stories and fossils.